They were the furthest humans had ever been from Earth and they heard eerie cosmic noises on the far side of the moon. What did the Apollo 10 astronauts really hear? This video contains the spooky original footage, so be sure to stay tuned until the end. And if you like it, I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment. Because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thank you friends and welcome. Everyone knows the historic footage of the Apollo 11 mission, Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon and speak his famous words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But this gigantic success was of course preceded by excessive preparatory work, because the last hot test before Apollo 11 was Apollo 10, with the main aim of testing all the procedures and components that were necessary for the forthcoming Apollo 11 moon landing. However, without actually landing on the moon, but almost. The lunar module called Snoopy descended to just over 14 kilometers above the lunar surface, but did not land. And then it went back up to spaceship Charlie Brown. Imagine that, so close to the lunar surface, so close to being the first man on the moon, but unfortunately, you're not allowed to land. It's like a muffin appearing next to me, but I'm on a diet and not allowed to eat it. Ah, oh, never mind. The Apollo 10 crew consisted of three astronauts. Tom Stafford was the commander, John Young was the command module pilot, and Eugene Cernan was the lunar module pilot. Incidentally, Eugene Cernan was back on Apollo 17 three years later in 1972, and incredibly, was the last person to set foot on the moon to this day. No human has been on our satellite for 52 years. This will hopefully change soon with the NASA Artemis program, which will probably put humans on the moon before the end of this decade. I believe we will see massive advances in space tourism in the near future, so many of us will certainly still have the opportunity to go to the moon. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is it a good thing for people to be able to fly into space as tourists or do you think it's a bad development? The topic is very controversial and I'm really interested in your opinion. Back to the moon. Apart from the fact that Apollo 10 was a complete success and laid the foundation for the moon landing in the same year, 1969, there is a very mysterious event that happened to the astronauts. They first heard inexplicable noises that are now known as moon music. I'd say, let's have a listen. Important note, I've put the footage from Apollo 10 behind the music, so we're not seeing the astronauts at the moment they heard the moon music. So here we go. Creepy, isn't it? Has an alien hacked into the onboard radio? Are we hearing the guttural language of a Lovecraftian Cthulhu entity that existed before space and time? Or is there a technical explanation? Before I clear it up, feel free to leave your guesses in the comments. Let's see if you're right. There are a lot of myths surrounding the whole story. This is mainly due to the fact that the moon music only really became popular when it was mentioned in a series called NASA's Unexplained Files, which should be taken with a grain of salt. There it was claimed that NASA had kept the video files under lock and key until 2008. This of course is again perfect fodder for moon landing conspiracy theorists, flat earthers, and other contrarians. One, two, three! We're not crazy! And as is so often the case, the truth is quite different. The astronauts' discussions about this phenomenon were recorded in publicly accessible mission logs and audio files from as early as 1973. So we know how they reacted to the moon music. Here is the transcript. Cernan's initial reaction was one of wow in amazement, while Young said, did you hear that whistling sound too? Kernan, yeah, sounds like, you know, space music. Young said, I wonder what that is. However, NASA only began digitizing the audio recordings for its internet archives in 2012. So nothing was kept secret here, even if all the YouTube mystery channels try to portray it that way, of course. And the moon music also appeared again on Apollo 11. Michael Collins, pilot of the Apollo 11 command module, later wrote in his autobiography, There is a strange noise in my headphones now, an eerie woo-hoo sound. If I hadn't been warned, it would have scared me to death. So far so good, but I can hear some of you asking impatiently, 
What's the explanation for the moon music, Tim? Tell me now. Okay, okay. The Apollo astronauts and NASA explained the phenomenon as VHF interference between the radios of the command module and the lunar landing module. So in the case of Apollo 10, between the spaceship Charlie Brown and the lunar module Snoopy, we could therefore rename the whole thing more aptly as Peanuts music. VHF stands for very high frequency and is a frequency range that is used for various forms of communication. So radio, television, but also for aerospace communication. And when two or more overlapping frequency waves interfere with each other, this is known as interference, this happens when two signals are transmitted at the same or similar frequency, then overlap and produce strange noises. Like this moon music, So when I listen to it, the moon music is actually better than what's currently on the radio, but never mind. So let's just say, no aliens, just two VHF radios that interfered with each other. Speaking of interference, this statistic here disturbs me. Almost 74% of you viewers don't subscribe to the channel. If you're one of them, I'd be galactically happy if you hit the subscribe button. It really helps me a lot and you won't miss any new videos, so it's a win-win. Thanks guys. Let's stick with potential extraterrestrial signals. A whistleblower once claimed that the USA possessed alien UFOs. You can find out whether this story is true, whether this is finally proof of extraterrestrials, or whether it's complete nonsense in the video below. Be sure to watch it. And if you want to support my channel, you can also check out my Astro Store. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.